everyone. Today I am going to be um, showing you my idea for this page. This is from 30 Days of Creativity. Sorry about this shadow. There's a cable which is um, in the cause creating a shadow. But I just leave it panned out for a minute to show you the page. I did start recording a video and my battery ran out um, the other day. But I actually have now had a different idea for what to do with this page. Now if you are on Instagram a lot like I am, you will notice that a lot of people do um, circles on their pages um, like sort of bubbles or something like that and then um, maybe colour in the circle a different colour now I thought that would work really well on this page I'm going to zoom in a little bit now now as you will see from the design we do Johanna has drawn us some little bubbles but my idea is to do some quite large bubbles and I'm going to use this circle tool which I've just nicked out of my husband's um, art bag because um, you could draw around some um, sticky tape or something like that. I'm just using this tool. I'm going to try and get it in shot. I actually don't want that duck in my circle. Um, so I'm going to use it by putting my pencil in one of these holes. It's not that easy to see. I don't know if I lift it whether it helps. You can see there's a series of holes. So I'm going to just do the one by the number one and draw. Put my hands on the outside and draw a circle shape and that is my um, bubble it's quite difficult for you to see but it's that big okay i'm gonna the reason that um i've noted what number it is because i want to do several on the page and i want to do them all the same um, size okay so coloring in the bubble i'm going to ignore what johanna's drawn first and just color in my bubble so i want to make it darker at the bottom now I'm actually using a Holbein pencil I just grab something quickly because um, I don't know I didn't really think it through I grabbed this template and then thought oh what should I do now what I'm gonna do is do a little line all around the edge just to soften that edge that we've drawn already and so that it stands out a bit because the print behind the black is quite dark and then I want to make it a lot darker at the bottom than at the top. So I'm going to put a fairly a thicker layer down here. Okay. And then line it up just in case you're wondering, is this the sky blue? It doesn't matter what you use. What I wanted was something, my criteria for choosing the pencil was blue, a nice sort of mid, pretty mid blue, and one that would sharpen to a nice sharp point to fit in the hole in my circle tool so that's why i chose this color so you can choose any color you want now my idea for the whole picture is still developing in my head as i color i'm beginning to reduce my pressure on the pencil i want less color now as i go up the bubble okay um so i'm thinking that what i might do it's a little bit difficult to know if it'll work until I colour in a bit more of the page. Is that I might not colour the items behind the bubbles at all. I might leave them uncoloured so that we can just see the um, bubble. I'm just trying to blend that in a bit so we haven't got a dark line on the edge. You know, just a defined line. Now I want to leave the centre a bit um, pale, but um, if I just leave it completely, these items are quite dark. So I'm thinking I need a white to go in there. Um, I'm just looking for my white. Uh, I can't find it. Here it is. Um, I've got one here, which is a Caran d'Ache Luminance white, which is very good. Um, it's a, it actually shows up, whereas some whites don't really work very well. Um, particular brands this one I know does and I'm going to go in the middle here with this white it's actually a bit dirty it's making everything look a bit grey I don't know whether it's just spreading the um maybe it's just spreading the print from the book or what and it's not really doing what I wanted but anyway we'll go over everything with this white try and mix it all up a bit It might just be that it needs a little bit more. It's just making everything look grey. But at least it looks different. Because I don't want it to look like there's any paper. I want it to look like this is 
different. So I think what I will do is I won't colour anything that's in the circles. Okay. I will just leave them. And as soon as the edge of the circle appears, I'll colour. And what I'm going to do on this page is every item will be the same. So this duck is yellow and two shades of yellow. Every duck will be that colour. I can't remember what brand of pencils I used, so that will be fun. But uh, every one of the... Um, I'm going to blend that a little bit. I'm just going to use my Stedler blender, I think. I've just got this Stedler blender. Works quite well. Just because I don't want any hard transitional lines on my bubble. Um, so anything that isn't in a circle will be coloured and anything in the circle won't be. And then we can uh, get something interesting going on. I won't overlap any of the circles because I think that's going to might not look very neat and tidy. I will probably do a lot of circles because there's so much on this page and the facing page. I'll do some on this this page as well. Um, as I say, I'll do them all the same size. And what I will do is add some white onto them. Oops, let's put it back in shot for you. So um, I'll get my um, white Posca, give it a shake. It can be a little bit watery and uh, just draw it's still watery and I'm just stabbing up and down on a rough piece of paper giving it another shake and seeing if we can get it to actually write there we go it's quite faint because our blue isn't that dark but we can do a bit of white around our bubble it doesn't really show up does it could always do a thicker line if it doesn't show up too much or a few layers to uh, get it showing up now a bit more. Which is what I'm going to do. Like that. And so I'm going to do lots of circles across my page like that. And then areas with no circles will be coloured in. And as I say, they'll be the same. So I'll make sure I don't put a circle on top of that duck. I'll probably put one here. And I'll do them at different intervals through the page. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get it done to show you the finished picture at the end of the video. It's always a bit hit and miss that as to whether I will have time. Another thing you can do is you can put a little bit of shadow under the bubble and it pulls it away from the page a little bit. I'm not sure I'm going to do that because it's not like it's a water bubble where it's sitting on a leaf and it's got a shadow. It's in the air and it's floating, so I think it's probably better to leave it like that, but you can experiment if you want to. But that's me. I'm just going to leave that there. And as I say, um, just colour things in quite plainly. The bubbles are going to be the star of the show, as it were, so everything else just colour in quite plainly. And you have to be careful to avoid too much blue. Don't do anything in this shade of blue, or else it's just going to disappear. So do really dark blue if you want to do blue or try and avoid blue just do different colors i don't think we have anything i'm just looking at the items on this page that would have to be blue in these little tiny bubbles you might want to do the same as this one i think that might be wise and then they would sort of match in so you could do a similar they're quite small though if you have to sharpen your pencil quite sharp or use a very similar shade of color so that's me i'm just checking there's definitely nothing that has to be blue so it might be best to avoid it but i'll try i will put a completed version of my page somewhere um for you to look at it might be on instagram on pinterest might be on johanna basford your pages it will be somewhere so you'll be able to find it but um that's me. I'm going to keep that really short today. Um, I think that's enough. I don't need to show you another one. You can replay that if you're not sure. And uh, and it means that you're left to colour the rest in whatever colours you want to. So there we go. So it's just a little idea to share with you. So I hope that was useful. Um, thank you so much for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>